welcome back to the D fam. Or if you're new here, welcome. So I tried something new and I know what you're thinking. What more can you try? So recently I started making strawberries and I thought it would be a nice idea to share with you how to make Easter strawberries. This is a cute idea to make with your kids, with your family, with your friends. So this is something that interests you. I invite you to stick around as I show you what you're going to need and how to make them. Okay guys, so to begin, I'm going to show you what you need to make these Easter strawberries. So most importantly, you're going to need nice strawberries for this specific look. Uh, I already washed mine and they're currently drying. And then next, you're going to need these Giraldi baking chips. And these classic white Giraldi baking chips. You should be fine with one bag. You might be able to even do it with half a bag if you have that. And then I bought these little decorations. I originally bought them at Walmart, but I also found them at my local cake shop. So it's little bunny ears and then it has the nose and then the eyes. I also found these at Walmart and at my local baking shop. They're little carrots. And then it's these, they're little chicks and bunnies. I found these at Target and I know in my city they still have some available. Um, so I will link those down below. And then it's these cute little feet. And it comes with a tail and it has different colors. These are super cute. You're also going to need some spring sprinkles. I found these at um, Target and I will also link that down below. For this specific look, um, I'm going to be using orange and pink food coloring. This one is oil based and um, I found that these have worked very, very well. I've tried them with my other strawberries and I love them. Um, I will link those down below. They're from Chetmaster. And then um, I'm also going to be using some wax paper to place the strawberries to let them cool. And then some optional items. I bought these little baking cups at my local cake shop. I thought they were super cute. I also have the white ones, um, so any of those will work. And then a box if you want to place your strawberries. This one's 8x8. I bought it on Amazon. I'll link that down below. Or you could also find it like at Michael's, Party City. This one's 8x8. And then this little grass to put at the bottom of the box. So now let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by melting these white baking chips and I'm going to use this cup and fill it to the top which is a total of one cup of the baking chips. And to melt it, I'm going to be using my microwave this time and I'm going to do it in 30 second intervals, take it out, mix it and then put it back in and at the end I will let you know how much time it took to fully melt it. Hey guys, while my chocolate is melting, I'm preparing everything that we're going to need for the strawberries. So I already put my wax paper on like this cookie sheet and then I got my little feet and the tail, the little bunny ears, eyes and nose, my little carrot, the chick and the bunny, and then also some toothpicks. Okay guys, so I am done melting the chocolate after four 30 second intervals and now it is time to start dipping the strawberries. So what I always do is I add two toothpicks to the top so I could properly grab the strawberry. And what we're going to do right now is it's going to be two white with baking chips. And that's going to be for the little feet and the tail. And then the other one's going to be for the ears, eyes, and nose. So let's do that.
Okay guys, so the two white are done and we're gonna start putting on the little feet and tail and also the little bunny ears. But usually I like to wait about a minute. You don't want the strawberries to be freshly dipped because if not, the little items start to slide. So this is about perfect. So this is the way that it turned out. And next, we're gonna add some orange food coloring to our leftover white chocolate. So I'm gonna add the food coloring. I'm gonna do around four little drops and then mix it. It truly depends on how light or dark you want the orange. Okay guys, so you're gonna have a little bit of leftover orange chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is put it in this piping bag or you could also use a Ziploc bag so we could use it later to drizzle. Okay guys, so I already took off the orange chocolate from my cup and I added another set of baking chips and this time is only about half the cup because it's only for two strawberries. So I'm going to put them back into the microwave for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to add the pink food coloring. So this chocolate is ready and now we're going to put the pink food coloring. So for these two strawberries, we're going to put the little teeny tiny bunny and then the sprinkles. So get your sprinkles ready. And once we're done with this, we're going to transition to the dark chocolate. So before we move on, I'm going to drizzle the orange strawberries with our orange leftover chocolate. And um, if it's a little bit cool, you could put it into the microwave for around 20 seconds. Um, but mine is still warm, so I'm just going to cut the tip. And then start drizzling. Okay guys, so this is an update. And next, we're gonna be working with these chocolate chips. And since it's only gonna be three strawberries, I'm gonna fill it up halfway.
So the last are the three chocolate. These are my mom's favorites, so you know who they're going to. So let's get started with these. I'm going to drizzle this strawberry, so I'm going to let it cool down for a little before I add the drizzle. Okay guys, while the strawberry is cool, I'm going to start building my box and getting everything ready. Okay guys, so I am officially done making the strawberries and I truly hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making them. So these strawberries were a special request from the girls and I know that they're going to be so excited to see this little Easter tree. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below and I would love to answer them. And as always, I will leave everything linked down below in case you want to check it out. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!